Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. You know, we're getting close to the end of the year, eight, 10 weeks to go, depends on when you watch this video. And I wanted to just get you to start to think about what you do in the next two months sets you up for the next 12 months. Start taking control of how you feel and how you react. How you respond and how you react is really important at this point in time. And so one of the activities I've been doing with clients lately is getting them to focus on what are the 20 goals. So here's what I want you to think a little bit about. I want you to stop and reset. What, I want you to reset the goals. I want you to take some time to recalibrate how you're feeling. Whatever you need to do to adjust that mindset of yours. Here's the next thing. I want you to start to review the mindset you need. And more importantly, I want you to refocus. Get in that corridor of clarity, not the chasm of confusion. And so how do you do that? Well, it's really important to understand that your life is made up of four parts. You know, there are things in your life that you love to do. There are things in your life that you like to do. There's things in your life that you have to do. I get that. And there's things in your life that you hate to do. Here's what I want to say to you. If your life is totally consumed by the things you have to do and hate to do, and you've got nothing in what you like to do and love to do, let me give you a highly technical term. Your life is crappy. And so one of the things that I'd really encourage you to do, now, I'm a realist around this. I know it can't be all honky-dory all the time. But when you're going through the tough times, you've got to have something on the other side to look forward to. And that's been one of the challenges in this environment we're in right now. One of the challenges, of course, is what am I looking forward to? I can't go on an overseas holiday, Keith. Sometimes I can't even walk around the block. It's okay. I want you to make sure that you're heading towards something you like and moving away from the things that you don't want. So here's the challenge. If you choose to accept it, and there's a handout for this as well, so we'll send that to you, put it as part of the, the video notes on this blog. I want you to think about what are the 20 goals in the next 10 weeks? Wow, okay, 20 goals in 10 weeks? That's going to put me on the other side of Christmas. Yeah, I want to get you to push through this year that we've had. And so what are the 20 goals in 10 weeks? Little things that you can do to feel like you're moving towards what you want and moving away from what you don't want. Let me give you a couple of examples here just to get your juices and the brain matter working. What's a family activity? What's something you love to do with your family? That within a COVID restrictions, within the travel restrictions, border restrictions, that you could actually do with your family. Maybe it's a games night at home. Maybe it's a, a, a bike ride, whatever it might be. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's getting everybody on the same Zoom call and having a drink or a, a bit of a, a meal with one another, even that way. What about, what about, is there a project you want to start? Is there something you want to do in, around your home or in the role that you do or in your business that you'd like to achieve in the next two months? Is there something that you can do to, to generate some ideas for trips that you could do in your local area? Is there a, a, a goal for your role in the business that you're in? Is there a sporting activity? I've just retaken up golf. I'm going to finish this video and going to have a golf lesson. Why? Because I know that I've got to do something with my time because otherwise I'll work all the time. Um, is there an activity to do with friends? Is there a health goal you want to work on? Is there a financial milestone, something you want to save or something you want to purchase? Is there a place you want to see, either in your local area? Isn't it interesting? We've been discovering our neighbourhoods. We've been discovering our regions. We've been discovering our, the, the, the state we live in. Is there a food experience? Go and try a different food. I'm into Vietnamese food at the moment, loving it. Um, is there a sporting event you want to watch? You know what I've been doing? I've been going and watching local cricket. Can't go and watch the, the, the other big games, but I'm going and watching some local cricket. It's been really fantastic, catching up with a couple of mates and having a chat and hanging out with the lads type of thing. Here is an activity you like to do with your partner. Is there a, a little weekend goal you'd like to do? Is there a holiday that you can have in the, you know, the confinements? We've got to get a little bit more creative now, haven't we, where we travel to? Something, is there someone you can make a difference to? See, I want you just to think a little bit bigger, bolder, better, and braver as you move forward. 
Because as you know, one of my favorite quotes is this, nothing great happens until someone becomes passionate about something. This is about helping you become passionate about what's important to you, what matters to you, what's going to make a difference to you and the people who mean the world to you. Hey, I'm Keith Abraham. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.